It's across the Johnston County line Where folks come from miles To hear the old banjo Pick up their heels and dance away the time It's a different kind of lifestyle One you learn learned to love Where progress is slow coming round No attention is paid to the world and its ways not much matters outside of town Where the cows still get milk And the bugs still get churned Neighbors leave on the front porch line Fields still get plowed By an old gray mule And the pickings on at the bluegrass farm Every Saturday night Next week he was gone. <laughs> it's a true story, folks. So there's a part in that song where uh, it talks about uh, they still, you know, churn the butter and they still plow the fields with an old gray mule. Well, the mule that we were using was not a gray mule. He was the wrong color. So what we had to do, we used a black mule. 
So we took some uh, white powder, wasn't it, Frank? We took some white powder and put all over this black mule to turn him gray so he'd fit in for the video. And, and I don't know if that's what happened. I'll, but dang, I don't think they called him next week and said the mule dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but you'll see him on the video, though. Go, go, go check on, take a listen to that, that video right there. We're going uh, to bring Alan up right now. Alan's a great singer. He uh, sings it in a good traditional bluegrass way. When Garrett was getting his band together, he told me exactly who he wanted to get. He said, I know exactly who I want to be in my band. He'd been going out to Carolina Road, and we'd been letting him play one song on stage to work the sales table all day long. Right, Garrett? That's right. All day long, he worked the sales table, and for his pay, I let him play one song on our stage with Carolina Road. He came to me one day, and he said, well, Rain, I'm about ready to play more than one song. And I said, well, I don't think Ben Green's going to let you do that. He said, well, what if I got my own band? I was like, what? <laughs> he said, yeah, but you'll be in it. You'll be in it. Don't worry. I said, really? I said, he said, I want you to be my bass player. I said, Garrett, how am I going to do that now? I'm out here on the road. And he, he said, I got everybody picked out. Now, I'm not kidding you, folks. It's a true story. He had Alan Dyer picked out to be his lead singer. Yeah. He sure did. Yeah. I said, Alan's not going to come out and play. He's working, you know, he's supervising a deep power energy plant over there. And he said, no, nah, he'll come play with me. And sure enough, he did. And he had a, he brought a man out of retirement. He played for 35 years for Carl Eisenhower with him. He was retired. He said he won't play it no more. Back on Garrett didn't bring him back out of retirement. We're glad to have him back. Carl Eisenhower on the guitar there. He said, since you're going to be playing the bass, he says, I want to have a fantastic mandolin player. He said, I'm going to get Mike Aldridge. And I said, Mike Aldridge is not going to play now. I can tell you, he's definitely retired. But he called Mike, and Mike said, you know what? I don't think I want to play that much, but I got a son that's just perfect for you. He said, he said, he said Daniel working in great for y'all. And so uh, Daniel came on the mandolin playing, and uh, Garrett got everybody he wanted. He wanted a fiddle player, but there were no fiddle players around. We had to wait for the grass cats to split up. And uh, then... <laughs> Years later. <laughs> Garrett did I didn't not have anything to do with them splitting us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but as soon as the grass cats did split, he made the first phone call to Chris. He said, Chris, we'd like to have you come play. And Chris joined the band. So, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Eagle, Daniel Aldridge, Parks Eisenhower, Alan Dyer, and Craig Morton. I I will say that she wanted me in that video, but she didn't want a white lead singer, so I opted out. <laughs> Be still and now. 